Hi, and welcome to this episode of GTP TV. My name is Rowan Brown, and I'm a director here at Green Tailor Partners. Today I'm going to be talking about the contractor reporting. Contractor reporting has started as of the 1st of July 2012. The first uh, instance of reporting will occur uh, as of 1st of July 2013, whereby you'll have to complete a report which is then sent to the ATO detailing the name, address, ABN, the amount that you've paid contractors and the amount of GST that was included in the amount. This report will need to be lodged with the ATO by the 21st of July 2013. There are a number of ways of collecting information. Uh, some of the software programs are already getting up to speed with it. Uh, in MYOB's case they have their MYOB 19.7 which was the payroll update for 2013 financial year. It has a, a, an area simply where you tick to indicate that the supplier is re required to be uh, recorded for the purpose of the reporting. A lot of other software programs and even older versions of MYOB do not yet have this functionality, but there are ways of recording it to assist you at the end of the year. Whether you need to record or report for the payments requires you to be in the building and construction industry and have an ABN. You would then report for only those contractors with whom principally supply services, not just uh, parts and materials. So if you've got someone that uh, supplies you, for example, windows and then fits them for you, you would need to report them as opposed to a supplier that solely supplied the windows for which you did fit yourself, you would not be required to report. The way that we can track in MYOB 17 in particular, as I said that's the version that was for the payroll update for 2013, is simply to go to the card file and then we go to card list and under the supplier tab you'll have all your different suppliers. So you can click on one of the suppliers and then under the buying details tab down here we have a report on taxable payments. You simply click that and then at the end of the year there will be a report that will print out of the system which will detail all those suppliers that have matched that criteria. Other versions of MYB or other programs such as QuickBooks and Quicken may be a little bit different. Here I've got the, uh, this is the MYB version 2012 which happens to be a newer version than 19.7 but yet does not have such functionality. One of the ways I would track it in a program such as this is to simply go and create a new expense item and the same could apply for your quick on your QuickBooks. So in this case we'll just simply go new and we might call this one say 9000 and I'll just put contractor reporting and we can just click OK to that. Well, we've now created a new expense category and one of the things you can do is if for every supplier that you're going to have to report if you allocated that expense to that category you could then simply print a report out of the program based on the details of that and provided you, you detail the report to include things such as the supplier name you could then drop that into Excel sort by supplier name and do things such as a subtotal in Excel which we'll show you in another video how we would go about that. And then you could uh, simply transfer those figures onto the final report at the end of the year. You'd also need to track details such as in the card file. So I'll just close out of this area. Go into the card file, card list, and under say the supplier, you would want to ensure that you have the details of their name, their address, and they'll also be under buy details. You'll have an area here we can track their ABN. Simply at the end of the year we do a simple supplier report or one by one go into here, check those details, transfer them onto the report you'll be sending to the ATO. At this stage I'm not aware that the reports will be able to generate electronically from the software. At this stage we're more concerned about being able to track the information so at the end of the year we can actually track it. As I said in another video will actually show an example of maybe transferring some data out to Excel and thereby you can then show how you can sort that and get the information you'll be required to obtain ready to do the reporting. I hope this has been a benefit and I'll catch you later.